Hey, 1-6 collectors. So today I'm going to show you guys the 1-6 scale Batman, the classic TV series. Um, Adam West uh, as Batman. Uh, it was a TV series that came back out in the 60s. My parents watched it. I've watched it. It's a very campy, corny, funny show. Um, not to be taken too seriously. Uh, so if you're into that uh, and, and you like that genre, definitely pick up this figure. I am totally overwhelmed with it. I, I simply love it. Uh, so just to show you guys, here's the box the Adam West comes in, uh, as you can see up on top of that, man, I'll spin this around for you guys, so you guys look, the side, nothing majorly special going on there, on the back, the logo Batman, and of course all the, uh, warnings and stuff, do not put this in your mouth, do not swallow, or you're gonna choke, um, comes in typical, um, it's like a shoe box, slip up, where that's where the clamshell would be, it holds them in. Um, a nice, a nice thing that they did um, also was they added this wall because if anyone knows the series, they do a lot of um, wall climbing, which was very, very corny because all it was was uh, a flat uh, floorboard that they would just literally walk across and make it look like they were uh, climbing up a wall. Um, the windows do move, um, as you can see, they they do move, they open up and stuff. So. Um, yeah, I was, that was, that's a nice little touch. And it looks like you can put the batarang hook there, and then you can have the rope. Anyways, you can re recreate a scene, I guess, of them walking up a wall, maybe stick one of your 1-6 figures heads through there. But, uh, yeah, definitely nice touch. That's a nice touch. All right, so uh, on to the figure. So here he is, Adam West. I'm digging this. Um, it is really, really good. They captured his likeness spot on um, from what I uh, can see. So it just it just speaks to me, Adam West. It's really, really, really good. Um, the whole thing, I mean, uh, just from head to toe. It's fantastic. Just fantastic. The one thing I noticed with the cape, um, you can flip it over like this, but it also has like looks like there's like a, a button here right so I'm assuming you can see how I've done here there's a button clip here that you can actually take that one out and pop this one in so it'll actually secure it like that but I didn't do that I figured I just drape it like that for now but um but yeah it's on both sides it's a little button for the for the cape to be held down directly and it also has it on there as well so um I guess that's what the the functionality of that is the cave is really done nice um the clothing is done nice it is a lot um brighter i know that um in adam west his, his costume was maybe a darker gray but i think hot toys was going for the uh more elaborate coloring the more splashy coloring so they kind of went with a lighter lighter suit so i'm not sure if that is the accurate one or the darker one was more accurate but i know that any kim is um is I think his next project, he's doing um, the new suit, which is a little bit darker gray. So I might hit him up on that one. Um, now let's move on to the accessories. Oh, just by the way, everything just moves beautiful on this thing. So, I mean, nothing hinders it. The threading, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. So, but anyways, all right, so on to the accessories, which comes with a lot. Um, comes with two faces, or mouthpieces. The, what the fuck? The Robin face, I guess, or the shark attack bite face. The more, I guess, I don't know what kind of face that is, but he's more concentrating look face of Neen. This big bomb. Now, if anybody ever remembers the show, there was a one scene where he's running around on the dock and he's trying to throw this bomb. And he just seems not to be able to, to be able to get rid of it. There's always something live or something in the way. So I'm I'm glad they kind of threw that in there. Um, comes with his shark repellent, which is the most funniest, campiest scene I've ever seen him do. And he's on that ladder rope up a helicopter, and this stupid shark, this is a rubber shark, which is attached to his leg. And, and I don't know. You have to you have to watch it to see it. It's just it's corny, but it was funny. But at that time, I was a kid. It was, it was fantastic. Um, comes with his rope, two uh, hand pegs. His battery, of course, you can attach the rope to. His classic radio walkie-talkie, whatever thing he used. 
Very, very good. Um, comes with a lot of hands. Um, fisted, relaxed, kind of gripping, I guess, the bangerang. Some, I don't know, weird two-finger this hands. Just different. Amazingly different looking hand sculpts. If you guys can see that. So it comes with a lot. It comes with this back one, 2C, of course, dancing hands. Everyone knows that one. Uh, and of course, the hands that can actually hold that bomb. And then the other hand right there. So comes with those accessories. So I mean, if you guys are a really big fan of this genre, and like Batman, wasn't the best Batman, of course not, not compared to what we're used to. But remember, back in the 60s, this is the Batman that they got. So um, I'm glad I got him. I got Robin coming in next week, so I'll have my dynamic duo together. So there you go, guys. The 1966 Batman Adam West. Hope you guys enjoy it. And if you like it, pick him up. You will not be disappointed. Just will not be disappointed. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.